Hello world, this is the difference between Canadian schools and Japanese schools. So Japanese school, like, you're not allowed to um, bring food in the um, school. Well, only on special days, but you can't, you're not allowed to. And, um, and, but Canada, you're allowed to bring um, foods or like snacks at school. Okay. Um, and what do you do for lunch then in Japan if you're not allowed to bring food? So like um, they cook food for you and then um, so there's a tray and then you open the tray and then you put all the food on and then kids have to serve the food um, and then so the kids have trays and then they, they serve it and then they put on the tray and then they do that to each kid so every, everybody gets the same um, menu and it's healthy but Canada um, so you have to bring your own lunch. So um, it's like some kids doesn't really bring healthy ones, or like they just bring ca snacks for lunch. Okay, so which which lunch do you like better? You like lunch better in Japan or Canada? Well, it's nice to bring what you want to Canada, but I think Japan's better. The difference between the classes. So, well, first you can bring money, and, well, you, I told you, but you can bring food, and, um, so like you can wear your outside shoes in Japan, but Canada, well, in kindergarten, you have to wear inside shoes, but from up, um, you can wear outside shoes in the class, so it gets dirty. And Japan, you have to clean your class, and then you have to clean up, so um, you have to clean up so um, it won't get dirty. But Canada, cut the uh, custodian does it, and um, so like the tables, they're like in like different shapes, where they're like on in for four tables stick together, where like they're like this. But in Japan, um, it's boy and girl, and they have two two desks, and then two desks here, and then here here, and it's all the same. So what are the rules like in Canada? So the rules in Canada are like um, you're allowed to dye your hair and you're allowed to put necklaces or bracelets or accessory. Uh, but in Japan, you're not allowed to put this kind of stuff. You're not allowed to dye your hair. And then like, well, it depends on the teacher, but you're not allowed to really like make it long hair. It was not tying it. And then like, um, so you can't put accessory or like earrings. You're not allowed to do that. In Canada, if you want to go to the bathroom, you have to raise your hand up. And um, some teachers say no, or some teachers say yes. But in Japan, you have um, every each period um, is over. Um, you get a five minute break, and the bell rings, so you can have a five minute break, and the bell rings again, so the five minute break is over. Oh, so in Japan, after each class, your bell rings? Oh, okay, so what happens in Canadian class then? Well, um, so my school, like, they only do it at, like, when you have to go in, and when it's recess, when recess is over, and yeah, it's only that. So homework, um, so like in Canada, some of them are like, um, like you have to be done by this day, so you have like two days until you can do homework sometimes, but, or like, um, you don't need to always do it with paper that much but Japan it's always you have to do it on paper and you have to bring it the next day and if you don't you have to stay in class and do it or like um did they get very mad at you so who has more homework Canada or Japan um, Japan Canada mostly you do it in the gym but Japan is like there's an outside day and the inside day, but Canada does, but it's mostly in the gym. And like, they have to wear um, um, like these special gym clothes in Japan. Um, they have to wear the same one. Everyone has to have the same one. And the hat, like if you are on like red team, like you have to like put your hat red. And if you're on white team, you, you put it under and then you switch it to white. So like you're forever that team. So it's not like, um, Canada, my, my school, like, um, 
you only get like、um, in red team or like separate teams only on sports day, so it's not like Japan. Oh, so like once you're red team, white team, you keep that the whole year. Yes. Oh wow. Okay, so Canada, you just pick te- different teams every time. Yes. Field trips. So Japan is more strict. Like um, so like Canada, you can just like run one. Well, some of my field trips, you could have just like wander off. Even the teacher can't see. We can just go away. Well, some field trips you're not allowed, but. Even like in the beach, we went to the beach, and then like we can go far away. Even like teacher can see it. Oh, and then Canada and my school they have volunteers. But in Japan, teacher have to do like, and they can see it, or this is the line, and then like, like um, in my field trips, like you can eat lunch any time. Well, not too soon, but you can, and then but Japan there's a time you have to eat. It, you have to eat from here and to here. And then, yeah. And then, when it's like the lunch time,、um, you have to like stay at the table. So it's kind of more strict. Which field trips do you like better, Canada or Japan? I like both. Which which school is、uh, maybe easier? Do you think Canadian school is easier or Japanese school is easier? Both.、Um, easy for me, but kind of English. I can't do it very well right now, so I think Japanese is better for me right now. Oh, so you're saying you you have an easier time in Japanese school than English right now? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm surprised about that. I didn't know. Well, I kind of this. I'm in four years, and I was there when I was small, so I know all the rules. I know how it goes. So yeah, kind of, it's kind of more easier right now. Okay. Uh, which school do you think is funner, Japanese school or Canadian school? Well, I can't. I like both. So, what are some of the good things that you like about Canadian school? So the good things you can bring your own snacks and you can bring money. So like there's a snack sale, so you can buy stuff, and there's lots of p- playgrounds. Like there's tons. Like like one, two, three, four, five. More like more than that. And then like sometimes um you have like older kids like um. Up to like grade seven, or some are, some is grade eight, or from free school. So like that's f- fun. And about Japan, like you only stay for six years, and there's no kindergarten, so you don't need to、um, go to school from six. But okay, what are the good things about Japanese school? I don't think you would know why it's fun, but there's more rules. And then like you don't need to go outside for recess. Like you can stay inside. In Japan, you can stay inside. Yeah, and yeah, that's. And you like that? Yeah. How come? What do you do inside? Well, I just hang out with my friends, talking. I don't really need to stay outside.、Oh. Even because in Canada, you have to stay outside even if it's raining really hard. Oh. I mean, if it's really, really, really hard, like if it's the wind and rain, you need to go in. But if it's the rain, you can go in. What do you think about the 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 kids, like your your classmates? Are they the same? Like they're just different language, but they're kind of like the same people. They friendlier, meaner, or just. Well, I don't know how to explain it, but I kind of feel different than Canadian and Japan. Japan, like you can't really. It's kind of embarrassed to do lots of stuff in front of the class, but in Canada, even you do it, nobody cares about it for some reason. Like even it's different people in the class I meet. Like nobody cares about anything; they just care about themselves. Well, not all people, but、so、like some people just care about themselves. They don't even care even if you do a mistake or, like, but Japan, they really care about you. So like you really get nervous. So I kind of feel different about that. So it's kind of like a pressure. Yeah. So I can mean if you make a mistake, you're really kind of nervous in Japan. Yeah. But if you make a mistake in Canada, nobody cares. Yeah. Well, it doesn't mean nobody, but. Almost like none every time, like nobody really cares about it. They just go, they just look at it. I don't, I don't know why they're so different, but yeah. Oh, I never thought about that one. Are there any other big differences between maybe teachers, Japanese teacher versus Canadian teacher? Hmm. No, not that really. Their teachers are just the same. Well, it doesn't mean all the same, but. 
I don't know if there's really that much difference. Or like, are you perfectly fine in, in both Canadian school or Japanese school? Or would you rather be in Japanese school or Canadian school right now? Mm, right now, what I think is kind of Japan, Japan school because it's, you know, I've been there more than Canadian school, so it's kind of more easier for me. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. What are schools like where you're from? So what do you think the difference is between Canadian school and Japanese school? Who knows? Okay, well tell me about the gym class Yeah. in Canada. What do you do in gym class? Like same, same. Same? Yeah. Okay. So what lunch do you like better? you like Japanese lunch or Canadian lunch better? Both. Really? The same? You don't like one better than the other? Are the teachers different in Canada and Japan? It won't change. Okay, what about the students? Are the students different in nope, Canada? Nope, nothing. So it's the exact same type of place? Yeah. Um, which one do you like better, Canadian school or Japanese school? Both. Do you have anything you want to say about the schools then? Nothing. Bye-bye.